CCSD is out of compliance with AB 469. That is a state law mandating that schools, not the district, have the majority of control over their budgets. CCSD has never been in compliance with that law since it passed. And tonight, the Board of Trustees took action to try to change that. We are moving forward. We're not where we want to be, but we are going to get there. That's the message from Superintendent Dr. Jesus Jara about the need to make changes to the district to come into compliance with state law. Some members of the public saying they will believe it when they see it. It kind of just comes across as smoke and mirrors. I don't understand why it's been so difficult for us to um, get to a point of compliance with this law. You guys have had several years now. AB 469 was passed by the legislature after a push to break up the school district, one of the largest in the country. The compromise decentralized power, giving school principals more control over things such as the ability to select their own staff. Under AB 469, schools are to have 85 percent control, the district 15 percent, numbers the district has never reached. It will be nearly impossible to reach the 85 percent, if not completely impossible, without transferring a large cost item like uh, transportation or utilities. We've uh, increased unrestricted all allocations to school budgets by almost 25 percent. So though we've not fully reached this mark, we've definitely been making progress all along. The Nevada State Board of Education discussed hard consequences for CCSD's noncompliance, including intervening in the district. There was even discussion of removing CCSD's superintendent and board of trustees. In a split vote, four to three, the majority of trustees voted to take action now, appointing trustee Lisa Guzman to work directly with the state. I want to say thank you, um, and I hope to bring forward exactly what um, Trustee Ford said, a bridge between the State Board of Ed and ourselves, and um, be very open and transparent about everything. And other big things mentioned in the meeting tonight. Teachers said they had not yet received their promised COVID-19 retention bonuses and the health insurance for teachers. They gave an update on their overhaul, reporting a positive financial performance last month for the first time in years. John.